Hey guys, today is September 25th. Uh, it's a Friday of 2020. And I want to just uh, share some thoughts and talk about what's going on today and how it affects us as transgender people. Uh, I don't have facts and I don't... I only speak from my own experience and my own views, but I would like to I would like to let people who are just sick to their stomach over the elections, over Donald Trump and all his lawlessness. Uh, the guy really, really does think he's a king. That he is more powerful than anybody. And that uh, it's owed to him. I was sick to my stomach when I found that Hillary lost the election. I just couldn't believe that that happened. I mean, we all were just heart stricken. Whether you're a Hillary fan or not, bottom line is she was chosen to represent the Democratic Party. So real quick, I want to go into why I'm a Democrat. And for those who uh, are born into a political party and just absorb that <clears throat> and continue on in that party, uh, Make sure you understand what the parties stand for. Look them up. Look at their policies. You know, uh, I did. I remember my dad saying that we were Democrats. Yet he was racist. Uh, Democrats did, back in the day, uh, did have slaves. But the Democratic Party has changed its view and mission in life. And they are the party that basically fights for the equality of people, the civil rights of people. Um, they fight for minority groups. They fight, they continue to fight for people who are lower on the totem pole. If you check around with friends of yours that are not in your inner circle, you probably will find some friends who are Republican. We have a couple friends in our group that are Republicans, and I just can't wrap my head around why they are Republicans, except for the fact that they came from families that have money. But what strikes me at my heart is that they stand behind a man who has no respect of any other person but himself and his family. And I'm sure if his kids got in the way, he probably put some in their place. Uh, the way his kids talk, they look up to him as if he is a god. But the one thing I don't understand with my friends is that the Republican Party, it was against gay marriage they're pro-life a lot of them value a conservative ship that includes a white race um, white collar they support values and policies that hold people down to a certain financial category or level and in the meanwhile boosting 
those who don't need a financial, any financial help at all. I'm saddened when I look at my friends and think, how can you, how can you be affiliated with a party that takes your rights away as lesbians? That constantly is voting in policies that pinpoint minority groups such as the LGBTQ community, whether it's in the armed forces, whether it's in marriage, whether it is civil rights. But I'm a Democrat because I believe in people who believe that all people should be treated equally, that we're all in this world together, and that in this nation where they have some power, that they can keep things a democracy, keep things, keep the skills kind of balanced. And sure, the Republicans might go this way. They have the Senate, which they've gone this way with the Senate the last four years. But we're checking balances, and that's what our government should be. And unfortunately, we've got longtime politicians, very rich politicians. They make what more money in one year that I will see in a lifetime. Uh who just put on their three-piece suits and walk with an air that everything's owed to them and that there's no other race but them. Don't kid yourself. When they talk, when they spew words through their mouths, you can hear the racists talking. Mainly in my mind when I talk like that, I'm thinking of Mitch McConnell and Lindsey Graham. Then you've got guys in three-piece suits who have an air about them that they should hold other people under their thumb. And how they do that is through religion. So not only are they... I don't even want to sit and call people names. So now, even though they are not right, they're, they don't believe in equality. They don't believe in civil rights. Other than their own kind. I always have understood that there's got to be good and bad in order for to know what good is and to know what bad is. We're always going to have power trips with men. Women, they get in their own power trips, but they don't have the air about them. The, the, this country wasn't raised with a woman in power. This country was formed by men who felt they were in charge and were in charge and our forefathers did have money, and when they didn't have money, they, they did get money. They had um, backers, supporters. Our forefathers probably would be flipping in their graves if they knew what was going on in, in, in our government right now. I'm not saying that Democrats are perfect, and I'm not saying that Republicans are evil. But when you put a few in the pot, it's going to come out very heavy laden on their side of things and how they want things to taste and how they want things to be. 
I have been sick to my stomach the last four years. Just, I had to walk away from Facebook. Once in a while, I'll, I'll publish or, or share a video that talks facts. Trying to maybe get someone to bite to watch it. And a couple times I have, and that person said, um, you need to reread that or whatever, and I did. And it means just what I meant it to be, but she was Republican. Uh, there's all kinds of, of people, all different views, morals, ethics, values that make this world up. And our cultures are all different. Uh, I'm married to a Mexican she came over into this country through the hills but the one thing i respect that her mother told her two little girls was we will assimilate into this country we will learn the language we will learn the rules and we will abide by them the girl both girls are now american citizens and and mama just became american citizen uh, which was she never thought she could do it she had a third grade education and she just felt she never could do it but finally uh people in the immigrant office supported her and, and gave her the boost and she did it so i'm married to a whole different culture so sometimes i have to explain things why they happen the way they do or why that person's doing what they're doing um and sometimes I, I have to show that these things are important. You've got to pay attention to certain things. We can't just let it go. Not anymore. The transgender community has been hit hard. The LGBT community was hit hard with Bush Jr. The trans community has been hit hard with Trump. Now, get granted... Those are federal laws. Each state has their own set of laws for minority groups, LGBT, marriage, civility, civility. You know, I um, reached out to one of our administrators that handle a lot of the transgender policies throughout California. And she said California is very well taken care of as far as transgender and uh, they they won't change their policies now understand that if you are getting a handout from the government if you're on uh, social security disability if you're on medicare those rules are governed by the white house uh, so it's very important to, to if you're not registered to vote and you say, oh, I don't get into politics, well, it's because of politics we've had the lead way for transgender medical transitions like we have through the Obama administration. And right now, all of those policies are in the courts being challenged to be taken away. Do you understand what that means? You might be comfortable in your own home your own little inner group you're young you don't pay attention to all the politics or whatever i don't like being political either because bottom line is is like i said we need good and bad to balance to balance each other out we can't have good all the time it, it would be heaven here on earth and that's not that's not the purpose um man is going to fail going to make mistakes Democratic Party, like I said, is not perfect. We have certain levels of Democrats, more conservative to more way liberal. And I'm not on the far, far left. Uh, I don't believe, uh, well, I won't even go into that, but I do believe in the equality and that every person born has the same right as the next person born. That color, race, religion, gender identity, sexual orientation, any of that 
It doesn't matter. Those are choices and things that people have to live by, whether they're handed down through the genes or the choices they make. Everybody has their own journey, and it's not for someone else to dictate what's going on in their journey, how they should walk it. However, that being said, our country was born into white supreme slavery and we took out every native we could to take away their property it wasn't until people got into politics that challenged and got back some of the native land for the natives that that finally said hey we need to recognize these people look what we did to them same thing with the blacks it doesn't matter if you're from Jamaica anymore because people don't know the difference. For me, whether you're Hispanic, whether you're black, Indian, Asian, white, and anything else that I haven't said, we owe it to ourselves to lead by example. And that means respect yourself first. You've got to be able to walk out with your shoulders pulled back and represent what you want people to see and respect. And when you don't, people are going to judge you automatically because you're, you're the, the spitting image of what they're against. No, they don't even get to know you as a person because of how you represent yourself. Or if you're in to make a fast buck and you bend the rules and you're always manipulating and, and, and walking the streets and not getting a job, you know, uh, I'm going to say it. Guys getting girls pregnant and not taking accountability to raise that child. All the time, girls are stuck with the babies. It's not right. We should not force girls to stay pregnant if they don't want, they're not ready for a baby yet. It doesn't matter to that guy if if the girl gets pregnant because he's going to walk away. He's, if he can't even take care of himself, he can't take care of a child. And this is where God made women stronger and multitaskers and sensitive in many ways. Because women have a lot to carry on their shoulder. My mom carried my family. My dad was in the house too, but she was the strong, strong one. So I'm going to get off that subject. But my main thing is, is we, we have to have hope. For all of you who are sick like I am, worried about the election, worried about he's going to rig the election again, that his cronies are going to, I mean, people are already standing at the polls trying to intimidate people from vote, voting, his base. Look at his base. Uneducated people. And those who are educated and still are his base, who are up in, Cong up in the, um, Washington, D.C., our power, racists, money hoarders, think about it. Just kind of think about it. Our own Kevin McCarthy here in California is a butt licker to the president. Oh, he's done a lot for, well, maybe he has, but he hasn't done anything for everyone in California. For all the minority groups, only the farmers. Where does his supporters come from? Farming. Now, I'm not saying the farmers don't deserve it. But you've got to, as a person with any kind of morals and ethics, you I don't understand how they can look at themselves in the mirror and lay their head down at night. Totally okay with what they just decided on that day. Or what policy they're trying to put through. And listen to me. Anybody who thinks their God is above everybody else is wrong. 
Because God is everybody's God. God loves everybody. No matter what you call God, the spiritual life sees no differences. And when the evil spirits try to be evil, what does the good spirits do? Pour out the love even more. Stay true to yourself and question your own values. Question where you want to go in life. Question where you want to see yourself going. And can you get there with the opportunity that this land is giving you now? That this administration is offering? Because the only thing I've heard out of that administration is chaos. Uneducated chaos. If you are not registered to vote and you are part of any type of minority group, I urge you to register to vote and vote Democratic all the way down the board. You are not going to get anywhere voting red, voting Republican. They're not going to get the lower class people anywhere further than what we are. It's the Democratic Party that will pull us through this and open up the doors for opportunity again for us. Because people who make money uh, over 100000 a year easy, they don't live the same, they don't have the same struggles as somebody who makes less and has a family. They don't understand it sometimes unless they came from it. And sometimes they forget it when they come from it. This is a long video. It's because it's a heart stricken video, but I don't like to talk politics, but I'm doing my part by reaching out to all of you who watch this channel. If you vote good, that is your word. And even if you vote Republican, okay, you're the one who has to lay your head down on at the pillow on the pillow at night because you won't find a Republican policy that stands up for the minority any minority group LGBTQ Hispanics blacks Asians any minority group okay guys you take care of yourself take it one day at a time Always make your journey as simple as possible.